What up out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video and in this one we will be discussing all the different methods for travel that include a few alternative methods for fast travel as well as one alternative method for just riding your horse through the countryside continuously tapping X or A which can get pretty old after a while. Now the first method of fast travel uh, is really really good probably my favorite one and you do need a little bit of story mode progression to actually unlock this. So in the gameplay right now, this is the mission that I played. It's called Money Lending and Other Sins. Uh, there's a few parts to this mission, but this is how I was actually able to unlock the fast travel back at the camp. So in the gameplay right now, you're going to see me walking over to Dutch's kind of lodge, I guess, if, if you know, if it will. But we're going to go over to this area and I'm going to throw some money first in the community bowl, as I always do. I usually try to get like 20 bucks in there whenever I come back to this area. But right next to it, you'll notice that there's a ledger and that wasn't always there before. So all you have to do is press square on PlayStation to access the ledger. I guess that's uh, what is that X on Xbox? Yeah. So once you've opened up the ledger, you can look inside of it. And the thing you actually need to purchase is you need to purchase uh, Dutch's Lodge, basically, or a little a little upgrade to it, I guess. So you do need quite a bit of money for this. I'd say four to five hundred dollars, depending on your pre-order of the game and whether you get the uh, discounts and bonuses from the special edition. But as you can see, it costs one hundred seventy-six dollars for me. It's called First Things First. That is what you must buy, and that will fix up Dutch's Lodge. Okay, so make sure you purchase that. That's what that's what I'm gonna purchase right now, actually. So as you can see, Dutch's Lodge has been upgraded. Other camp members have been inspired to contribute more. Okay, uh, not sure what that'll mean in the future. They haven't really contributed more as to what I've seen so far. But yeah, you need to get that done first. I'm not sure if you'll have this little cutscene like me, but this did happen to me. So if it does happen to you, you know, you're on the right track. Uh, go back to the ledger right after. Uh, once I was done talking to him, I went right back to the ledger and you'll see that you'll have one added line right under the one that you purchased and that's next in line which is yours all right that's your lodge that is how you actually purchase the upgrades for yours all right so as you can see i got a trophy and everything for it and now you have a map that's placed right behind that wagon that's over at your camp all right or at your little bed so if you head over there you'll see that you have the map right there i'm gonna hold triangle to fast track and as you can see, I have all these different options. So pick whichever one. I'm going to head over to, Val to Valentine. And these are free now forever. Yeah, you do have some upfront money that you need to put down. But after that, it's completely free. So in the beginning, make sure you watch my last video where there were some gold bricks that you could find, an easy two grand, and you can purchase this easily, okay? Don't just spend your money on random stuff or bounties, all right? Just try to be a little bit better. Uh, but save your money because that is the best fast travel option in my opinion. Uh, but if you don't have that money, we have a few more options for you, okay? But that is my favorite because I'm always going back to camp regardless. Uh, now, getting out of Valentine, we are over here and I'm going to show you how to use the stagecoach. So if you look at the icon on the map in the bottom left, that's kind of what it looks like. And this is at nighttime. It actually said it was locked on the map and I decided to come over here anyways and it unlocked for me somehow. You know, I just walked up and held triangle and as you can see right here at the stagecoach, you can pick where you want to go. But all of these do cost money every time you decide to use them. So this could definitely add up over time. I mean, a couple hundred bucks uh, for our lodges and then, you know, I could fast travel whenever I wanted from the camp, I think is much better than doing this. But to each his own, if you would just want to spend a little bit of money every now and then to fast travel, then this is a really good option. The stagecoach is actually really quick. That's why I put it as the second option for me. Uh, not too expensive, but there is one more option now for fast travel, and that's actually the train. So the train stations usually are next to the stagecoach or the post office, as you can see here on the map, or they have this little icon. It's kind of like a donut right on the track, all right, like a black donut right on the track. Uh, that shows you right there that there is train tracks there, and you can follow them all around the map if you, uh, if you really want to see where all the stops are. But go inside to where the post office is. Well, I say post office because it's a piece of mail, but you pay your bounties here. You do everything. You can buy your train tickets here as well. So, oh, it is a post office. All right, you see that? <laughs> so here you could buy whichever train ticket you want to go wherever you want. And this also does depend on where you've been so far, you know, in the game. If you haven't been to many places, you're not going to have many options to go. 
But as you can see, I do believe it's by distance. The shorter the, the, shorter the distance, the cheaper it is to actually purchase the train ticket there. Now I put this as the third option, because as you can see, this is all fast forwarded by the way. All these cutscenes were fast forwarded. And to me, this cutscene for the train actually takes the longest. And I only paid $350 for this ticket. This was a short distance and it took pretty long. So if you really want some faster options than the stagecoach or the fast travel from the camp, I think is actually much quicker when it comes to the cutscene itself. It might be by a few seconds, but hey, time is money. All right. So the last option, and this is not an alternative for fast travel. It's just the alternative for people that just want to ride their horse and look at the scenery. But at the same time, you're tired of tapping X or A, all right, just to run and, you know, keep the rhythm and stuff like that. So what you can do is go ahead and set a waypoint or a checkpoint to wherever you want to go. And all you have to do is while you're running, as you can see, I just did it right there. Hold down the well on PlayStation, it's the big touchpad. So hold that down until it, the full circle goes around on the bottom right. And as you can see, it's actually autopilot. So this is like auto horse ride, autopilot, whatever you want to call it. But that's what this is. And he will do this the entire time while you are going to your destination. So a nice little cutscene. Well, it looks like a cutscene. It's like a cinematic view. And he'll actually just autopilot the whole way there. Now, there are a few downsides to this. As nice as, as it is, and you can do stuff, because the pros are great. You can do stuff while this is going on. Uh, you know, if you're on the computer, I got two screens. I'm usually doing something else. But that's totally up to you. The downsides are, this doesn't always work perfectly. You will crash into people. You will fall off your horse. Uh, you might antagonize people, and they could start shooting you. So there's a lot of things that can happen with this cinematic autopilot mode. But it is still a really nice feature. I'm sure Rockstar will patch up a few things in the future to actually get this to work a lot nicer. But great job so far. Uh, but yeah, those are all the different methods of travel. As you can see right here, that is the exact thing I was talking about. Look, he just stopped right on the fence. So I actually had to discontinue this and then continue it back. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative RDR2 content out. Peace.